Hello there guys, my name is Jay Ogimpy Dwarf and welcome to a quite disastrous episode of Space Engineers. Uh, basically, I, as I said to you guys, I would host a server in which a few of you can join and we could build some cool ships. And it didn't go to plan because the server was hit by a few trolls and I ended up having to make it a private thing through friends only so a few people have managed to join because they you know managed to make friends through steam i did post to everywhere to do this but i don't know how many people actually got the memo so i am joined by jarstep who has joined like around an hour or so before the end didn't you yeah something like that i've been yeah. building it too and kind of seeing what happened and stuff <laughs> and this is what we've ended up with so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through state who built it and then you know we can we can just have a bit of a gander at them not too much of a gander because of course we don't want this video to be too long so starting off i think i'll start with the gray ships um because the guy basically this little gray ship here was built by someone i don't know who and then they they never returned so i, I don't know it's like a little little fly around piss about ship as i call them <laughs> just yeah. get, get out of here just i'm sorry <laughs> no just no and then this ship here was uh, actually built by a guy called jack the hunter who is still getting used to space engineers and uh, he actually he built the ship and kept saying why is it not working why is it not working and he actually didn't have his uh what's the face his landing gear <laughs> really he, he, he so, got it. <laughs> so he was flooring the engines and it wouldn't actually fly off and then i i walked up to it hit detach and and then flew off and he was like what the hell <laughs> i need to be going now i'm sorry <laughs> so the next sort of ships I'll just show off mine and Jeremy's really quickly. Mine is very green. I'm sorry about the colour. Um, I've just made it green just to make it stand out a little bit for myself. What I've actually done is I've added a few bits of armaments onto it to make it a bit stronger but with, of course, less weight. And then Jeremy's built this really cool thing that is like called the Heart of Love or Made with Love or something like that. Um, it's quite an odd shape, quite an alternate shape of ship very minimalistic and it's I don't know it's really nice the colour scheme is quite nice as well so that's that's that our ships now this is another one that I built completely from scratch and uh, this is like something I just kind of worked on as a bit of a prototype I painted it and everything in the typical DDC colours but uh, yeah there's not a lot to say about this it, it's not very special it's just a blank canvas at the moment of a ship you can fly it it moves around but it's very very narrow inside so the next ship was actually built by a guy who was also on youtube called brmp and he built this like it kind of reminds me of the space caravans but uh, he built the it, it really does remind me of a space caravan which is really cool so in this he's got a lot of storage we didn't have any furniture mods installed because of course downloading them would take a while so all the mods that were in the server before aren't in here anymore but he has got a really really nice sort of layer here it's very you know storage and very cargo crazy i think and it's for good reason of course this ship would have to move around a lot of items and people so it's quite a nice ship i like the, the, the red color is quite nice and uh, it moves pretty well as well so thank you for that BRMP it's been really nice sort of hanging with you now the next two ships were built by a guy I presume he was called Sad Seal um, he left and I may have forgotten his name I think it was Sad Seal on Steam um, because these things are called the Seal Crew Carrier and things like that so I kind of am just gone, going off presumption so he's got a lot of reactors in here um, a nice little cockpit here with some, some windowed areas and lots and lots and look at all these seating my god sweet niblets so this is like a back door sort of entrance area and then we've got some turrets on the top which are i believe i hope they're conveyed um i don't think they are conveyed uh but either way i mean the idea is there which is kind of cool and i like the way he's got these like winglets sort of coming off the side that i don't know you, you you don't see like bare engines normally so that's quite nice and the colours look quite nice as well, he made this like hanger for it, so it's very very blue and he's also got this fighter as well which is kind of like a bit of a prot prototype uh, it's very very stupidly fast, he's got lots of thrusters on it 
and I'm thinking maybe you could use this as a drone as well so it's very sort of you know slim minimalistic and you know you can do a lot with it you can add stuff to it and take stuff away and to make it a, you know just a typical personnel carrier you know, a person carrier it's like a car so that's really cool some really like nifty ideas and some nice shapes being used now we had one guy build a large ship and this guy I'm just gonna get him to say say hi and he is called Nevercracker. Now I did do some stuff with Neb and he built this large ship that is is still a prototype but <laughs> there he is. So he built this massive turret and then he started adding to it and he added another one on the other side. This ship is very juttery at the moment, it's a bit of a flaw. But the way he's designed is pretty cool. Again, it's only a prototype at the moment. He, he kind of had to rush to get it done because of when we were finishing the actual build day. But it's pretty freaking sweet. These these turrets actually move like by a remote control, so they move really smoothly and work really well. So if we come through here, here he is, and I will just give him the universal wave. Um, here we go, and nine. I'm sure it's nine. Nine? There we go. So, he built this and it's, it's done a really good job. Uh, again, it's still in early sort of stages and he's got these really nice uh, areas. So, I'm just going to ask him to show us the hangar because there is a little hangar on the top of this, if I can spell. So, let's give it a little of a second for the delay and we've got like a nice engine room here sort of it's like an open plan en engine area with you know just them on on display and we've got doors coming through to here and he's actually oh he's, is this one of his ships oh wow so he's actually got some like fighters in here okay so let's see if he can open it I'll ask him Hmm. I'll hit this button. Oh, there we go. So it's a very nice hangar actually. It tucks away quite nicely. And he's got some buttons there for opening and closing. Again, some of the mods, um I'm sure with some of the additional mods we could have achieved you could have achieved, you know, some some greater detailing, but these ships get out quite nicely. It's like a sh you have to get them out quite awkwardly, but for good reason to have less space exposed which is good so I really like this so this is basically the majority of the ships there is one of those seal fighters over there which I'm gonna just get rid of and uh, yeah so um, it's just thinking that that's, okay so he's just telling us this is an aground attack fighter cool so let's have a bit of a fly around with this as well so this is pretty nice I mean it moves pretty nicely and it, uh, I like the I like how some people have actually used the um, normal thrusters, which is nice to see. It's I don't use vanilla blocks as much as I should do. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say thank you to him, and then I think what we'll do is we'll just end it there. So if you guys have enjoyed this and you know want to see more, then hopefully we can get some sort of server up. It scares me a little bit now because. Um, the amount of trolls that just go around the servers and just jump in, blow stuff up and fly out again is quite a nuisance. And unfortunately we fell victim to that today. And it's been a very, very stressful day for me. Um, sorry if the ser server was laggy for those who did join, those few that did join. Um, again, hopefully we can get something a bit better done. But at this moment in time there's not a lot we can do. So, again... Sorry if it hasn't worked up to what you expected. It was only really a test to see what we could do. So thank you to all those who have actually been building today. It's been really, really interesting, really nice to talk to some of you guys and you know get your opinions on the channel and get your opinions on some of the videos and of course show off some builds. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please like, favorite, and of course subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers. Peace.